Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea. I'm really glad you're here with me today. Today I'm going to be doing a review for easy peasy math. Mostly the second grade because I have the workbook here in front of me to show you, but my children have done easy peasy for multiple grades and it's all relatively similar. Um, this is my son's workbook. He just turned eight and he does second grade math. So I'm gonna be showing you this. What I love about Easy Peasy All in One Homeschool, so easypeasyallinonehomeschool.com, you can go check out their website. What I love about them is that you can do all of it for free. If you want to, you do not have to purchase the workbooks. I like to purchase some of the workbooks because then it saves me on printing time, printing you know the cost of the ink, the paper, and all that, and then I don't have to keep it anywhere else. It's all right here in the workbook but I have used the online courses for other things, math, as well as the other subjects. And it works great both ways. Now the math workbooks, you can get the workbooks for grades one through five. When you get to sixth grade, it's all online and they do use Khan Academy after that. Now Khan Academy is great. I like it for a lot of things, but sometimes they do Common Core. I'm not a big fan of Common Core, but you can avoid that. You can kind of choose which lessons you want to do, and if it comes to something where it wants them to do Common Core, I have them skip it, or I tell them, hey, this is how Common Core is going to teach you. Um, here's how I'm going to explain it to you. You pick the way that works best for you and go from there. But um, yeah, if we use Con, I just try to do the lessons that don't use Common Core, if that makes sense. Back to easy peasy. So they have workbooks one through five. Five is new this year. They used to only have one through four. This is the second grade. Now when you do the workbooks, it's a lot like online where it is, it tells you which day you're doing. So like day 100 and it just goes from there. I mean, it starts at day one, obviously, but it has all the days listed and then that's going to correlate with what they have online. So if my son was doing day 100, I could have him just do the worksheet but it is recommended that they do what's on the web page for day 100 and this because yes they will have problems they could do for day 100 and then if you have the workbook you could skip those problems because this is covering it but then they also have activities and little things to help them learn the lesson so you could just kind of plug them into that let them learn the lesson let them do online activities that easy peasy you know provides it's, it saves you time from having to look online for all these activities you can find on all these different websites easy peasy has that all organized for you so they'll know which website you need to go to and you know which activity you need to go to there's a link and it takes you straight to that website's activity for what your child's learning about and that saves so much time now for my son he was actually using this this year um, to just go along with something else he is doing he was doing math lessons for a living education but when it came in the mail and yes he took the placement test when it came in the mail it was just still kind of easy for him and there's not a lot of practice problems and some people like it that way they don't like a lot of practice problems but for my son he needs that he needs to do that kind of repetitive action or else it just it does not stick I have some kids that yeah they can learn it do five problems move on and it's gonna be in there but for my son that's not the case so after he had done the my math lessons for a living education stuff for only a couple of weeks I knew I was like okay it might have even been one week I need to go back to easy peasy because he did easy peasy for all the math up until then but I had heard such good things about the math for the living education that I wanted to try it and it is good I do like it but he needs this so what this covers in second grade is number concepts place value geometry addition and subtraction money time word problems measurements fractions graphs and two digit addition and subtraction some things i like about this workbook i'll show you it tells you how to use it tells you all about the online stuff and then it has a chart so it'll be telling you all the things covered from day one through 45 can you guys see and then from day 46 to 90 and so on. So you can kind of at a glance look and see when are we going to get to money? When are we going to get to time? Fractions, all that. You don't have to flip through the pages. It's just a real quick view there. And then I like it because it keeps it fun. Like see the little spider webs. You know, it's like a little maze. 
and it just has a lot of places where your kids can color if they want to color just like see this is fun little stuff another little maze some coloring birds and then it has rows and I like that I'll show you what I mean so like you did day 51 or 50 over here right well then when you get ready for day 51 you'll skip this and you'll go to day 51 but then also you will do one of these rows of a, that subtraction and addition mixed up. So you have a row for day 51, 52, 53. So even though they're doing something over here where it's a different concept, this is adding tens and ones, you're also still getting that extra review of just your addition or subtraction problems. And my son, I like for him to have that. So that's really good. And I'll just, goes into shapes. And like I said, if you go online, it'll have additional activities. So like if your son or daughter was doing this, now this day 58 has two things. Most things, most days are just one page. This is because you're coloring and cutting. But like if my son was going to do this today, he would go through here and then he would also go online first and learn about it, do the lessons and activities on there for it. But he wouldn't have to print out the sheet because I have it right here. So it really helps if you need help in teaching, especially in the older grades. If you don't understand it or you just don't want to take the time to do it, you send them over to easy peasy all in one homeschool.com and they can do their lessons on there, do their online activities on there, and then come reinforce that with the workbook. And you could always break it up. You could have one day where they learn about it and do activities online. And then the next day have them do that day's sheet if you want to break it up that way. So just however you want to do it, it gets into word problems and yeah, just a lot of fun. I like, like I keep saying that, but I like how it keeps things fun. Gives you lots of cute little worksheets. It's not just boring, you know, repetitive over and over again, the same look, because I don't like that. Now I can do a flip around and show you guys more in depth page by page, but I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of everything. And like I said, they have it for grades one through five. My son is eight. This book is second grade. He is halfway through second grade, actually a little past halfway. We school year round. So he is closer to third grade now in math than he is in second grade. And yes, I do think he could go to the very back of this book and answer the problems. But he is not a new second grade. He is almost to third grade, so he should be able to go to the back of this book and finish the problem. So I would say it is spot on. I'll probably order his third grade one very soon. If you haven't watched my review video for math lessons for a living education, you can check that out. I will link it at the end of this video. I have it for grade two and grade six. It's levels for that program, not grades. So level two and level six. I will say definitely have your kids do the placement test for that math lessons for a living education. Um, and I will say, I think it is a little below grade level. Um, I think the easy peasy for math is right on. I think it's perfect for grade level. For easy peasy's other courses, I know specifically their reading, it is above level. Definitely a whole grade above level. So first grade reading is like you're reading a book, like a you know chapter book. Um, and you might read a chapter a day. And maybe that's good for your kid. I had a daughter who, who did that. She could go above grade level and be working just fine. I know for my son, he could not do Easy Peasy second grade reading this year um, because he's just not there yet. He's a little behind in reading anyway, so he definitely could not do on grade for them. But for math, they are on grade level. It is my favorite math program. I will go back to it for him probably full time. I will not buy math lessons for a living education again for him next year, but I will go ahead and use the resources it's given us this year, and then he'll continue to do this. So when I get the third grade workbook in, I will be glad to show you guys, but right now I'm going to flip this around and kind of let you see more of the pages. So we have the cover here and it just tells you everything I told you, all the things that it covers. It tells you how to use the workbook. And then like I told you, it shows you what's gonna be covered through the different days. So you can find that at a glance, okay? And then it starts with review here. Ignore my son's writing, <laughs> but starts out with review, time, my phone does not want to focus. 
Okay. Let's get up higher for you guys. So it just covers all this review. And if you see blank pages, remember he is also doing another math book. So we do this book as I see fit for the day. It's usually just for some extra practice to reinforce some skills that the my life my math lessons for a living education doesn't do. Now math lessons for a living education is a mastery approach and it does go back, but I just feel like for where he's at, he needs more just problems to do, which was also my issue with Life of Fred. There was just not enough work. Now for some kids that's great. You can see how this works here. And some kids it's not. And for my son he needs the, I guess what some people would call busy work. But So this is day 59. So, so you kind of know where we're at. Day 61. Um, they would do you know, fact families, and it says you use this from day 61 to 80. So see, there's a bunch of them. So on day 61, they would just come do one of these fact families, and then they would go to day, actual day of six. Oh, nope. Where's day 61? Here it is. The actual day of day 61. So on day 61, they'd be doing this, and then one of those fact family problems. And I like that they do that. So day 62, you do this, and then one of those fact family problems. So you are mastering the method that you're learning, but you're also getting to do other stuff so your child does not get bored. And that works the same way with rows. And yes, we skip around in here. So like here's rows. So on day 81, you would have done day 81 and a row. Here was day 81. So you would do these few word problems and then a row of either addition or subtraction. And I like that because it keeps all those fresh in their mind and it's really just making sure they are planted in their head so they know them. Helps them to memorize them without having to do a whole bunch of flashcards, little places to color. And if your kids are like my kids, they'll also just color all around the edges, right? <laughs> my son, I think, spends more time decorating his page than he does uh coloring the samples they gave him so you have money we're in the 100s now so we're on word problem oh writing money word problems more fun little pages time we're still in the 100s 117 just so you guys i like these kind of reviews where someone takes the time you're on graphs and stuff now to really show you page by page because unless you're in a store which you can't buy this in the store you have to buy this online you can't do that and i know if you're like me you do a lot of your shopping online so we don't get that page for page look we're on fractions now we're at about 139 they do have fractions earlier in the book okay because they even have it in the first grade book this is just um moving on making that concept bigger growing with it making it harder so and like I said, he is nearing third grade. Actually, you know what, you guys? I just realized next month he'll be ready for third grade. So that's why, like, he could come through here and he could do any of this at this point. Um, I just haven't bought a third grade book yet. Like, you see, this is day 159, 158. And he did that in November. So, yeah. But anyway, you guys can see lots of fun little pictures to color and here you're adding with double digits here at about day 162 now I will say for math with a living education um, he's doing that also and I think he's on day 80 something in that book so it just it works out a little differently um, you move on to concepts a little faster but I like easy peasy better anyway Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that review video. I hope that it helped you in knowing if this would be a good fit for your kiddos or not. We really enjoy it. You can go and check it out online. I will link their website in the description box below. Like I said, you can do their whole program for absolutely free. I mean, minus the supplies. So it is really helpful, you guys. They have art and history and science and literature, language arts, reading. They have the whole kit and caboodle. And it's really great. And I know we have used it solely. We use it solely for a whole year. And then we supplement with it here and there. Like you know, if you watch my videos, I am a very eclectic, go with the flow 
mix and match, do my own thing person. But it is great to do by itself or to add in with what you're doing. It has so many great resources, you guys. It has a great community. Also, they have Facebook pages and all kinds of things where people get together and talk about different things and just support one another. And I think it's really great. This is not affiliated. This is not sponsored. I have nothing to do with Easy Peasy. I just wanted to share. I had some requests for this video. So there you go. I hope you liked it. And if you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Like this video if it helped you out. If you have any other questions, comment them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. And you guys have a blessed day. Bye.